Happy good morning. Whoa! 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 Somebody help me! Sunny, what's going on here? I'm trying to get my Easter egg to stand up, but it just keeps falling over and rolling away. It looks like you need an egg stand for this. Whoa! So cool! Is that a washcloth? Yep. We should show everyone how to make one of these adorable bunnies. Great idea, Sunny. Yay! Let's get started! Everything you'll need for this project can be found in your bathroom. A washcloth, or a flannel if you're in the UK, cotton rounds, q-tips or cotton swabs, cotton balls, toilet paper, dental floss, hair ties. Hey, how'd that get in here? It's not the 90s anymore. Here's Sunny Catch. Actually, you know what? I think I want to wear this. That looks good. And some makeup. Let's begin by folding the washcloth. Turn your cloth to make a diamond shape. Bring the top corner down to the bottom corner. Oh great! This isn't even square! That's okay. We'll still make it work. Straighten out the layers and begin rolling the corner pieces inward. Do this as tightly as possible. Make sure the folded flap is tucked inside and now bend the cloth in half. This side will be the bunny's butt and these will become the ears. Fold the ears towards the butt. Continue holding tightly and use a hair tie to hold everything together. I was going to use this one, but then I found a clear hair elastic and decided to use this instead. Depending on your rubber band size, you may need to wrap it around more than once. Now start fluffing and shaping the ears. Here's what it should look like when it's all done. We're done already! Well, with that part, now it's time to decorate our bunny. Let's begin by decorating the ears. Cut one cotton round in half. Cutting on the inside edges, cut to shape each half to an oval shape. Pull open the inside edges to reveal the fluffy center. Be careful not to pull apart the outer edges. Let's use some blush for the bunny's pretty and pink inner ears. Is that color blush or bashful? Oh geez, Sunny. I just think bunnies have the cutest pink ears, so we're going to do our best to recreate them with our rabbit. Take one square of toilet paper and cut two small circles. Next, I'm using some black eyeliner to draw the eyeballs. You can use a black pen or marker. Leave a bit of white space off to the side. Now I'm using white eyeliner to draw a bit of eye twinkle. Yes, I own white eyeliner. Do not judge me. Hi there. I love crafting. Oh yeah! To make the cutest little bunny nose, you'll need a q-tip and some pink eyeshadow. You can always use a light pink marker instead. Remove the cotton from one side of the cotton swab. Fluff the cotton and dip into the eyeshadow for more coverage. Continue fluffing and coloring until you have the nose shape and size you're happy with. Ooh, this bunny's going to be able to smell the best carrots in the garden. To make the wabbit's whiskers, you'll need some dental floss and a black eyeliner. Or a black marker will do too. Cut the floss into three or four four inch pieces. Use the eyeliner to color the floss black. Don't worry, a little makeup remover and the mess goes away. To make this happy hare's tail, you'll need a cotton ball. Begin by pulling your cotton ball apart and fluffing the cotton bits as you go. Once the tail is nice and fluffy, shape back into a ball. You can always just glue a cotton ball on without fluffing it. But where's the fun in that? Let's decorate our bunny bun with some beautiful flowers. You'll need a couple of q-tips and some toilet paper. Cut the TP into strips and then squares. Uh, I guess these are rectangles. Cut the q-tips in half. Next I'm using eyeshadow in varying shades of pink, blue, and purple. You can always use an ink pad or markers to color these flowers. I'm using an off-white color on the cotton swabs. This will be the center of our flower. Begin making the pink flower by pushing the paper onto the stick part of the q-tip. Use alternating shades of the colors as you stack them. Swish the paper together around the center, trim the edges, then fluff up the flower.
continue stacking, squishing, trimming, and fluffing for the blue flower. And now for the purple flower, stack, squish, trim, and fluff. Glue the bottom of the flower to secure the paper to the swab. Here's what they look like when they're all complete. At the last minute, I decided this little darling needed some bunny teeth. Get your glue gun out. Hop to it because it's time for some hair raising fun. Let's decorate our bunny. Apply glue to the outside of the cotton round and adhere to the inside of the bunny's ears. Glue the eyes and press into place. Next, you'll use a needle to help weave the flossy whiskers onto the bunny's face. Be sure to send your needle through both sides of the washcloth. I was going to add four strands of whiskers, but decided to stop at three. Trim those wabbit's whiskers to your desired length. Ooh, so cute! Glue on the nose and boop it to secure it into place. I'm using tweezers to help me glue on the teeth. Finally, trim the end of the flowers and glue into place near the ears. All done! You forgot the tail! Oh my goodness! Okay, much better. We hope you had so much fun making these beautiful bunnies with supplies you can find in your own bathroom. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video with your friends. We wish you a very happy Easter and look forward to seeing you again for more amazing craft ideas. Happy crafting!